Hello, I am Dr. Venugopal, uh, heading the Department of Emergency Medicine at Malabar Institute of Medical Sciences, Calicut, Kerala, India. I also taking the chair of site, in, site director of master's program in emergency medicine under George Washington University of United States. I am the founder as well as executive director of the ANGELS. ANGELS is the active network group of emergency life savers. It is a pre-hospital care initiative of Kerala. This lecture is delivered at third Eurasian Congress on emergency medicine at Antalya of Turkey on 20th September 2012 at Roxon Sungate Port Resort, Turkey. Warm greetings from Kerala. This is a God's own country. The pre-hospital care scenario has <coughs> different phase in different parts of the world. It is ranging from a well-advanced, sophisticated, very costly system in one end and in another end it is a very rudimentary or a no system at all. In contrary, you can see that extreme diversities in the mode of operation and implementations of the pre-hospital care system in inside the country, different parts of the same country itself. So in this context, just let me to quote the WHO recommendations as far as the pre-hospital care development is concerned. The WHO recommends use using pre-existing EMS system as cornerstone of any attempt to improve upon pre-hospital services as opposed to trying to build a new system from the scratch. So this lecture focus on an overview of the pre-hospital care scenario in different countries and also emphasis the need of cost effectiveness and community participation while setting up of a pre-hospital care system and do an overview of what is happening in India in the pre-hospital care scenario and also projecting a initiative that is started in Calicut that is a community based initiative at the same time it is a cost effective one. World Health Organization they put forward the action plan that is a decade of action for road safety for 2011 to 20 and they brought about some key factors like it said that nearly 1.3 million deaths are happening on the road from the injuries. And another alarming things like 20 to 50 million people are injured from the accidents. And these People injured from accidents are mainly belonging to the younger age group between 15 and 29 years. And they are mainly the car occupants or, or pedestrians or cyclists etc. And another thing like the majority of them are belonging to the either a middle income group or a low income group. Another alarming things that WHO declared like <coughs> road traffic accidents are currently the <coughs> ninth leading cause for the death and it is estimated that it will be 
coming to the fifth position at the end of the 2030. WHO also planned several prevention plan. The major pillars of the prevention plan include road safety management, safer roads and mobility, safer vehicles, safer road use and post crash response. And the post crash response where the real pre-hospital care is key and this lecture mainly focusing on the pre-hospital care system. A proper EMS system, emergency medical service system is the cornerstone of a pre-hospital care program. What are the EMS systems available in various nations? They may be in different formats. They can be in national system. They can be a local or a regional system. It may be belonging to the private system or a hospital based system. <clears throat> it may be a volunteer system or it may be hybrid of this. As far as the pre-hospital care is concerned, there are two segments. One segment is the one model is the Franco-German model that mainly worked on the philosophy of field treat and stabilize. The second model is the Anglo-American model uh, which is working on the philosophy of scoop and run principle. In Franco-German model, usually a physician is on the scene. He see the case and stabilize on the, from the scene itself. And such a system, emergency medicine is not a primary speciality. It is an add-on speciality. Mainly the people from intensive care, anesthesiology, etc. are coming in this speciality. Here, they also provide advanced care uh, while transferring the patient to the hospital. And this system is directly admit this patient into various units like intensive care or theater usually bypassing in emergency department and this system are present in countries like Germany, France, Greece, Switzerland, Malta and Australia. <coughs> the Anglo-American model were the in that system, the patient will be taken to the hospital uh, uh, as early as possible. They will do only limited stabilization and treatment in the field and the definitive care will be provided at the hospital emergency department by emergency physicians. And the EMS program this uh, in this system in anglo american system this ems program is well allied with uh, police and fire force department the emergency medicine is an independent medical specialty in anglo american model there are, there will be trained paramedic or emergency medical tech care technicians to will be there to provide the service on the scene. The patients are transported by EMS to the hospital emergency department and they there is they will not direct the patient directly into the unit. The patients will be transported to the uh, emergency department where the patients will be stabilized. So systems are working in countries like UK, US, Canada, New Zealand, Australia and Iran. What about the EMS, emergency medicine, emergency medical service scenario in India? In India, in majority of the state, auto rickshaw drivers and jeep drivers are the real first, first response providers on the road. But there are uh, some EMS systems are working in different parts of the country. 
like an EMRI, that is the Emergency Research Institute, that is in Hyderabad, and another one is the Lifeline Foundation of EMS India at Vadodara, Gujarat. Another system is working in a centralized ambulance transport service, that is the CATS of Delhi, and ambulance access for all, that is the AAA of Mumbai, or the SUM model working in various parts of India as a part of pre-hospital cases. But the EMRI model that has adopted or that was converted to the converted to or government has accepted EMRI model as a model for the Indian nation and this model now uh, implemented uh, many states by uh, National Rural Health Mission that is NRHM. The NRHM project or the 108 project of ambulance networking is basically a national government project where the 108 is the single national level access number. The project is 100% funded by National Rural Health Mission. Here the ambulances are the brand new fully equipped ambulances that is newly purchased ambulances placing on the road. Uh, approximate cost of one ambulance will coming about 40 lakh of rupees or approximately like 90,000 uh, US dollars. The, all the ambulances are working at advanced life support level and the services are free to the people. The one few issues in NRHM model is like these vehicles are more appropriate for a Franco German model that is on the field treat and stabilize principle philosophy. But the other side, the problem facing in India is we don't have an EMT program. We don't have uh, adequate number of emergency physicians. Across India, while you are looking, we don't have more than 100 emergency physicians. Practically no EMTs. And in NRHM project, the male nurses are working as EMT. The other dark side of the program is most of the people working in the ambulance, they don't know how to operate this higher end system. Higher end, that is a big tragedy. The another side like the looking at the hospitals in India. In many of the hospital, not many, almost all hospital in India doesn't have a proper emergency department. All of including teaching institutions, they are working at a casualty level. There is no emergency medicine program. The ambulances of 108 system having the very higher end system where the equipment which include including higher end ventilators which uh, which is which possess higher end monitors like etc o2 etc etc but the sad story on the other side even in the operation theaters even in icus uh, majority of the hospital hospitals in india doesn't have this facility and in practical, the other limp of uh, limbs of emergency medical care, like the destination care, is almost true in almost zero in India. The NRHM system, the government is spending about one lakh rupees, that is twenty two hundred two thousand two hundred fifty US dollars per vehicle as a maintenance cost. The system they given to a private agency to run it and the government reimburse whatever the expense incurred uh, during uh, running the show. And this some state, at least in some state, the, the project already started in some state they are. Uh, they are struggling to running the show because the lack of uh, finance support and lack of adequate trained staff and on top of that 
the big issues happen is the corruption on NRHM system. This is the one corruptions reported in Uttar Pradesh and Jharkhand. And the politicians and bureaucrats siphon off about a massive sum of estimated rupees 10,000 crore that is 1.81 billion rupees from NRHM fund practically this fund has, was allotted to develop pre-hospital care system in Uttar Pradesh and the uh, and the big story on another another alarming story is like at least five people are said to have been murdered in an attempt to cover up the large scale of irregularities and this include the doctors the killed people include doctors several uh, former ministers of the ruling party are having investigated by the uh, CBI this case is under CBI investigation this scenario a public initiative that has started in uh, Kerala from Calicut this is called angels Angels means active network group of emergency life savers. This system working exactly based on the WHO recommendation using pre-existing EMS system as cornerstone of any attempt to improve upon pre-hospital services as opposed to trying to build a new system from scratch. The angels <coughs> started at Calicut with 50 GPS GPRS networked ambulance and it is access like a single access number 102. The 102 we chosen because of like uh, from the history from the time of independence on was India we are hearing like to call 100 to get police call 101 to get fire force and 102 to get ambulance it was true to get uh, the service from police and fire force while calling 100 and 101 but it was never happened in India uh, to get an ambulance while calling to 102 we made it a truth by providing this system if you are calling in 102 you will get ambulance now in Calicut it is a great model of public private participation this is brought about into effectiveness by upgrading the existing system and empowering the existing system on <coughs> February 18 2011 Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, our former president of the nation, launched this human innovation at Calicut. Many innovation we did in this area. The first one, like we started extensive first response provider courses, which go to schools, police, public, residents association in every areas and the last year we trained more than one lakh people in this area and we started uh, emergency medical care technician courses this is equivalent to EMTB of the international level where this is again this training was based on a voluntary basis and uh, people selected to EMCT is again based on their aptitude and attitude and aptitude to work in emergency medical care system. The ambulances are categorized into two levels that the basic life support and advanced life support level and generated a huge campaign at three level three tier awareness program was generated and uh, we got the extensive media support from each and every corner and this really we can brought about the system into the community 
and now the people are uh, started to talk about the emergency medical care in Kerala. The Angels has got a district administrative body. This administrative body usually chaired by the district collector. Under this, different people, hospitals, ambulance operators, advocates, businessmen, every everybody are associated in the uh, in the project. And the important thing that the Angels did in Kerala is it is ensured the availability of an ambulance while round the clock availability of an ambulance if you are calling at 102 and second important thing that we made there we changed the attitudes of the ambulance people the current uh, before angels the situation in calicut the ambulances are waiting in front of the hospitals to get the dead bodies so the angel system convert the ambulances from the status of dead body carrying vehicle to the primary life care, life savers status and very interestingly over a period of one year angels extended over five districts by addition of another 200 ambulances and recently Angels played a pivotal role in the regions where the major disasters happened. Angels Central Console is worked at Institute of Palliative Care Center Calicut Medical College. One important point I want to highlight here is like our console is operating by not the person like you and me they are the people who are paraplegic because of the involved in a trauma accidents and wrong transport the highlights of this human innovation or the placing them into the console is like one we gave them an opportunity to live again in a like in a like you and me we are giving them supporting them financially also more than that they become they became they became the uh, the link of the emergency life saving system and they know the importance of each and every call coming to them they know the value of the time the system Angel system working from donations and memberships. It is a non charitable society and also a trust.
പരിധിയില്ലാത്ത സേവനത്തിനായി ഏഞ്ചൽസ് വൺ നോ ടുവിലേക്ക് വിളിക്കൂ തക്ക സമയത്തെ പ്രവർത്തനം ജീവ സുരക്ഷയ്ക്കായി ഏഞ്ചൽസ് നിങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുന്നു ഏഞ്ചൽസ് എപ്പോഴും നിങ്ങളോടൊപ്പം Now, as you know, the emergency medical care has got three limbs. One is the care on site, care en route, and care at destination. Angels is focusing all the three areas. On site care, we are, we are teaching the public by providing first response provider calls. and route care empowering the ambulance people and equipping them and destination care we are uh, we are uh, setting up emergency department and empowering the existing emergency department casualties conversion of the casualties into emergency system this actually the angels plan to or the angels plans to provide a comprehensive emergency care to the community here some facts why the angels become uh, so cost effective just look at the nrhm project the comparison between 108 and 102 the initial cost this uh, model is the nrhm model that is recently placed at uh, trivandrum metro uh, that i am comparing with uh, angels work angels in calicut the initial cost of uh, nrhm project at trivandrum to placing 25 ambulances higher end ambulances is 15 crore indian rupees but the angels when started in calicut and placing 250 ambulances the initial establishment cost was only 15 lakh rupees the comparison is the 15 crore and the 15 lakh rupees and the recurring expenses of the uh, monthly recurring expenses for 25 ambulances nrhm is spending 25 lakh rupees per month but we need for the maintenance cost only for 50000 rupees the staffing difference like the nrhm there is a male nurse and a driver in angels a driver and a emct technician the ambulance types are in nrhm there is a it is a very high end uh, fully equipped als ambulance there is a two uh, 25 numbers they place for the metro city calicut and uh, angels ambulance type a mixer group uh, which include the omni traveler master everything is there which majority are the bls type but uh, 10% are the als type ambulances uh, nrhm cover 30 lakh population of trivandrum city the square meter area of 30 point uh, 30.66 square kilometer area angels covering five district uh, that is 1 crore 20000 1 crore 40 lakh 1 crore 20 lakh 40000 population spreading over 15475 square kilometer areas Uh, the cost of nrhm is totally free to the patient but the cost uh, for the cost to the patient for the angels not the free whoever can pay they should pay but those case of destitute transport trauma transport under privileged group all that angels give free of cost the mode of operation Uh, nrhm is run by a private agency and it is supported by government and 102 it is uh, done by a private public participation mode so do you think the cost really a factor in india uh, now 
the money is not a big problem nrhm has got surplus fund but in reality the 108 is a project is more appropriate appropriate for a metro i don't know whether it is okay for the rural india but if it all is there we also need an alternative system also to support the pre hospital care uh, the if you look at the ambulance system working in london there are london ambulance system it is working under 100% with the government support at the same time the st john system which is working with the public support with the voluntary basis india the population is 1 121 crore people the need is so immense we need a different kind of system so that is why uh, we or thought about the concept of angels uh because to go to the rural india the situation is so disastrous so the system a project which is appropriate for a less resourceful country is like the system is worked is based on the who recommendation this is what nothing we are creating new we are empowering the existing system and uh, this system is work totally on the community based movement and this working in a very unimaginably low cost and this is really a human innovation should i next few questions like do you really need a very high end ambulance system in every ward do you really need to focus advanced care on site resuscitation major trauma do you ever uh, misuse or misuse the provisions of the emergency medical care what the evidence say the opal study that is a ontario pre hospital advanced life support study on major trauma was done in 1760s which enrolled adult patients who involved major trauma this group of patients received both basic and advanced life support level care and the study evaluated the primary outcome and the survival to the primary outcome was the survival to the hospital discharge study shows that the survival rate was lower in those patient who received advanced life support this is really alarming one area we are emphasis for or we are trying to bring up the topmost system but the survival in the topmost system is less so the study again tell lie that a full advanced life support program did not decrease the mortality or morbidity for major trauma patients and during the advanced life support phase the mortality was greater when compare with the basic life support group especially in those patient who have the gcs is low and the study concludes that emergency medical service should carefully reevaluate the indications for and applications of pre hospital advanced life support measures for patients who have experienced major trauma another study <clears throat> about the misutilization of the emergency response number the studies from the 999 response system of east midland ambulance service uh, they uh, 25% of the call received through the am pds delta code that is the most urgent category this shows that 89% of these calls were less urgent actually they uh, people are 
using wrongly the emergency response system. In Calicut, when Angel started, the Deccan Chronicle, the English News Daily, then a survey which shows that angels receiving the majority of the calls are wrong calls or the unintentional call or is a actually the out of 254 to 475 call are the prank calls so let me conclude this presentation like a quality oriented pre-hospital care is the essential component of an integrated emergency medical care system Countries should formulate a national pre-hospital care plan with realistic, affordable and community-based approach suitable for the region. When introducing advanced systems, the cost effectiveness and outcome in the patient care should be emphasized. See that there is no role for fascinations. Hidden dangers in the medical market may mislead the providers while setting up the programs. So, an integrated national pre-hospital care guideline should be there which may be helpful in this scenario. Thank you for your patience. Thank you once again. You can visit the website www.drvenu.net www.angelsintia.org www.emergencymedicinememes.com www.memesintia.com for more details. Thank you very much.